Hey, welcome to Think Creative TV. My name is Matt Pullen and I am your host for all things iPad in the classroom. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, tap on the subscribe button here and you can get up to date information on all of my new videos. Let's get stuck into one now. Hey and welcome. In this video we're going to take a quick look at just some of the other little functions of clips that you can play around with and this is um, a real real simple fun thing that you can do but also for sub students this is probably a real game changer because it's going to actually allow them to use clips and still be in the videos themselves but in a completely different way. So let's jump into clips and take a look. So we know when we first open clips, here we go, you know, it's that face camera and, uh, you know, sometimes that shocks a lot of people um, and you can see a lot of iPads getting dropped because people get a little bit, whoa, I don't want to be in the, in the video. And that's actually kind of one of the reasons as to why we're going to show this next activity. So what we're going to do is have a look at how we can kind of hide our identity, but not necessarily be completely out of the video. Um, and we're going to do that by tapping here on the star. So go ahead and tap on that and we'll see that this gives us a range of, you know, the filters and stickers, etc. We're actually going to play around with the emojis though. And I'm just going to drop an emoji onto the screen um, and I can place that around. Now, as I make this bigger, can you see the yellow kind of frame that goes around my face? What this is doing now is that is tracking to my face. So now as I move my face, that emoji is kind of locked into place. Um, and as silly as that little activity is, and you can do you know all sorts of things here where you, your face can um, track the stickers. For some learners, you know I'm still kind of in the video, but you can't see my face. You know I've got this mask which is kind of hiding my identity. Now you could use this if you're if you're thinking about having students in videos that haven't had permission to be in the videos. I would still be a little bit careful there because there you know are times when it might uh, disappear from your face. Um, and then you're going to be in the camera. So just, just be careful of that. But if this is just a shyness thing, children wanting to hide behind things, then, you know, perfectly fine to do it in this way. Um, and it, it actually doesn't have to just be a mask. So, you know, you can have, if I get rid of this one, um, also a good thing to point out here, you don't have to have this in that way. You can disable the tracking. I'm just going to delete that. You can, you know, take some of the other features. So I might have some big googly eyes that track around. Um, in all sorts of other things that you could have and it doesn't necessarily have to be attached to your head either they will kind of track to your face so lots and lots of things that you can do here to have a lot of fun with um, one thing I saw at a training event when I explained this to someone they actually put um, a moon on their face and had the earth up in the in the corner and they're actually trying to rotate the moon around the earth very funny to watch um, again, you know, if that engages your learners to think about rotation of the moon, or etc., so be it. But there we go. Just realised I almost done an entire video uh, now with me on camera with silly emojis on my face. But there we go. Thanks for watching.